It's all everywhere. Do you like it? Yeah. I like it too. So another one. Oh, do you by any chance know what a wiki is? Yes. Yeah. What is a wiki then? Okay. So I'll, I'll repeat what people say here because you can't hear them, right? So he says that it's an editable. Oh. Yes, it's a user user editable uh, or user edit uh, website. It's like a website where lots of people can edit things, can add and, and play uh, around with it. Who in this room uses a wiki or ever used? Mm -hmm. Very chic. You do? Yeah. What for? To teach. How chic. Oh my god, there are techie people around. Anybody else there on that side? Actually, yeah, yeah. brilliant. The students use the wiki. For those of you who have never seen a wiki before, I'm going to play a video explaining what a wiki is, right? So let's see if you get excited to start using it in your classes. Sonka Kaligapos. These four friends are going on a camping trip. They need to bring the right supplies because they're backpacking. The group needs to plan and plan well, so coordination is key. They're all computer users, so they start planning with an email. It starts with one, but then becomes a barrage. Email is not good at coordinating and organizing a group's input. This is the old way. Boo! The important information is scattered across everyone's inbox. This isn't coordination. Let's start over. There is a better way. It requires you using a website called a wiki. Using a wiki, the group can coordinate their trip better. This is the new way. Yay! Most wikis work the same. They make it easy for everyone to change what appears on a web page with the click of a button. It's as easy as erasing a word and rewriting it. The buttons are really important. There are two that are essential. They are edit and save, and they are always used together. Let's see them in action. Here are our camping friends, and this is a wiki website. Like all wikis, it has an edit button. Clicking this button transforms the web page into a document. All you have to do is click it, and the web page becomes a document ready for editing. Editing the page means you can add or remove words or change how they look, just like writing a letter. Once you're finished editing, you click save and the document becomes a web page once again and is ready for the next person to edit it. Easy. Edit, write, and save. Using this process, a group can coordinate more easily. Let's apply this to our camping friends who need to bring the right supplies. Mary signs up for a wiki site and then sees the new site for the first time. She clicks the edit button to get started. She creates two lists for camping. What we have and what we need. Under we have, she lists the things she will bring. A cooler, stove, and flashlight. Under we need, she lists items that others need to bring. Compass, lighter, water, and food. She finishes the process by clicking save and the website now has lists for the camping trip. Now it's John's turn. John vi visits the wiki website, clicks edit, and the page becomes a document ready for him to make changes. John volunteers to bring food and water, so he moves those to the half column. He also realizes the group will need a knife and rope. Once he's finished, he clicks save and the wiki is ready for the next person. Henry visits the wiki, clicks edit and he can edit the page. He remembers they need a tent. Henry saves the page and the wiki is ready for Frank. Frank edits the page and agrees to bring the remaining items, completing the process. Frank saves the page and realizes something awesome. The group has created the perfect camping list without email. Yay! But wait, one thing is missing. They need a location for the campsite. The wiki can help with this too, but another page is needed. John visits the wiki and clicks edit to edit the page. He types in the word locations and highlights it. He then clicks the link button. This changes the word locations into a link to a new page. John clicks save and next, Frank visits the wiki and sees the list and the link to the new page. He clicks on the locations link and arrives at the new page. This new page enables the group to use the same edit right 
save process to coordinate locations. This process can be repeated over and over. These three buttons, edit, save, and link, make it possible to organize a great camping trip or create the world's biggest encyclopedia. You can sign up for your own wiki at these websites, PVWiki, WetPaint, or Wikispaces. I'm Leo Peter, and this has been Wikis in Plain English on the Common Craft Show. Yay, do you like it? Wow. Yes. So for you who uh, haven't seen what the wiki was, did you, do you now have an idea of what the thing is? So it's an editable website. It's, it's a, you create it, you go to one of those websites, PB Wikis, um, I'll send it all to you, don't worry about it. And, and then you create the wiki, you give a name to it, and you decide who is going to take part in the wiki, because you are the administrator. Right? So people will have passwords. They will go in, and they can move around, they can play with the wiki. This is a fantastic tool for you to, to assign projects for your students. Sabe aquelas cartolinas que você coloca na parede? Aquelas coisas horrorosas? Over. Pelo amor de Deus. Destroying the, 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 the trees. Shit, no. What you have to do now is use a wiki, because wikis, they can bring in links, they can get information on the, the websites, and, and they can make it wonderful. Thing. And every time they do something on the wiki, you will get an email telling you that somebody did something on, on the page, right? So you have control, because teachers love control. <laughs> you love control. You have control over the things that the students do, right? So uh, do you think that you can come here and tell them what you do with the wiki? Now, do you want to say it from there? Don't, don't be shy. Share, 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 share. Can you hear her? No. Lovey, lovey, lovey. Doesn't hurt. The mic doesn't bite. Yes. <laughs> Tell me. All right. Um, so we use in two different ways. First, as an internal tool. So we organize all the procedures, the manuals, or how to do things at school. Or for the administrative part, coordinators, managers, and everything. Excellent. So instead of having those uh, awful pasta um, sheet that's been bad, yes. perfect, you do it in a wiki and you put it all there. Yes. Oh, and also oh, for the seven. Oh my god, seven is death. <laughs> and also with, the, with some teachers for sharing videos and activities, and then we can do it a lot. Instead of those pastas or horos. Yes. <laughs> okay. Some teachers do use for, for the students. Like writing projects, yes. environment projects, they have to do with them. For final projects and things like this. So you create, for example, Bicycle Wiki. Yes. So you, you direct the students to the wiki and they can do wonderful projects. And it's nice because they create themselves. And this is what they do. Thank you very much. It doesn't hurt, does it? A little bit. Yeah. Um, so as you can see, uh, this is a fantastic tool for you to use with your students. And, and it's, it's modern, it's practical. It uh, doesn't generate a lot of emails. And they look like that you are super. Oh my god, my teacher is so techy. Man, chic. Super chic. Um, any other ideas on how to use a wiki? Yes, darling. Come here. Oh my god, she's brave. I love brave women. Oh my god, I see a lot of people. Well, uh, two ideas that have just crossed my mind. The first one would be like working with vocab and uh, for example if you're teaching food so we could have like three different columns like the first one would be uh, vegetables and then fruit and then types of meat something like this and then the students would have to go on researching and including different vocabulary there uh, the second thing that has just uh, crossed my mind was uh, 
for example, getting uh, sentences from compositions or texts that students have uh, made mistakes and, and so on, and uh, ask the other students to use the wiki to correct. All right, or even, uh, thank you very much. A round of applause for her, please. She's very good. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, another thing that you can do with the wiki is a process writing activity. So you can, for example, uh, write the beginning of a story. You can ask people to go into the wiki and write the continuation for the story, right? Everybody who goes in will write a different sentence or paragraph. And it becomes a wonderful thing, yeah? Or uh, do you have some one of the main games and responses? Well, the celebrations that you always have in schools. And you can do it every, everything uh, on, on the wiki. It saves time, it saves paper, it contributes to, to uh, nature and uh, the learning of a suit. Because this is what they do in real life. Not the make believe that they do in English classes. Goody, goody, goody. Do you want another one? Another website? that I like very much. <laughs> this is the Generation Y. Yes. <laughs> Are you under 18 here? Is there anybody who's under 18? 17, 18? Anybody here? No? So you're not Generation Y, I'm afraid. Yes. So there is a... Uh, we all... It's at me, I'm at I'm going to just say it. Um, if you're not Generation Y, you are not uh, native, digital natives, uh, the, the term that they say. You are digital immigrants. And as immigrants, you have to do to make an extra F effort in order to use the technology. So for Generation Y, all these that I'm telling you is so natural. It's part of their, of their lives. Oh, I love this. I'll tell you a story. Once I was using one of these fantastic interactive whiteboards in the classroom uh, with a connection uh, to the internet. And one of the students saw words in the textbook that was turnip. Turnip. Right? He looked at me and said, Teacher, what is turnip? And I looked at him and said, Oh my God, I'm going to show off now. I said, I went to the, the fantastic interactive whiteboard. I looked at uh, Google Images, typed in turnip, pressed the button. You don't imagine what kind of things appear. <laughs> <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Can <laughs> right. you imagine the results, right? Uh, they went home because they were teenagers. They went home and told the parents, and parents came to the school and said that I was showing pornography in the class, etc., etc., etc. So I'll never use Google Images again. So what I do now is that I use this fantastic tool here, this one, that is called taggalaxy.de. I'll show it to you instead of Google Image. Um, I'll show it to you.